What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. Get ready to be blown away as Marvel Studios unveils the star-studded lineup for the upcoming blockbuster, The Fantastic Four. In a move that had fans buzzing with anticipation, Pedro Pascal, known for his charismatic performances, is set to take on the role of the brilliant Reed Richards slash Mr. Fantastic. Joining Pascal in this epic ensemble are the talented Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman, the fiery Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and the rugged Eben Moss Bachrock as the ever-sturdy Ben Grimm, the Thing. The casting choices have finally put an end to years of speculation, leaving fans eagerly counting down the days until the release on July 25th, 2025. Directed by the visionary Matt Shackman, the creative minds behind the script include Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer, with a touch of brilliance from Josh Friedman, renowned for his work on Avatar The Way of Water. Marvel dropped this bombshell on Valentine's Day, sharing the love with fans via Instagram. But that's not all. Brace yourselves for a slight twist. The film, previously known simply as Fantastic Four, now bears the title The Fantastic Four, signaling a fresh take on the beloved superhero saga. Marvel's decision to shift the release date from early May to the prime summer spot in July is a strategic move, ensuring that this cinematic masterpiece kicks off the summer box office season with a bang. As the countdown begins, get ready for a cinematic adventure that promises to be nothing short of fantastic. Fasten your seatbelts for a spine-chilling journey into the post-apocalyptic unknown as Nicolas Cage takes the lead in the upcoming thriller Arcadian, where terror unfolds with an official release date that promises to captivate audiences. RLJE Films has secured the rights to distribute Arcadian, with the movie set to premiere at South by Southwest on March 1st. Following this much-anticipated event, horror enthusiasts can mark their calendars for the theatrical release on April 12th. But that's not all. After its big screen debut, Arcadian will make its way to streaming platforms Shudder and AMC+, ensuring that fans can relive the suspense at their convenience before the close of 2024. In the movie, Cage steps into the shoes of Paul, a father living with his sons Joseph and Thomas in a world haunted by a lurking nocturnal menace. Penned by Michael Nylon, the creative force behind previous Cage ventures like The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent and Willy's Wonderland, and helmed by Ben Brewer, the visual effects lead for Everything Everywhere All at Once, Arcadian promises a cinematic experience that will keep audiences on the edge of their seats. Nicolas Cage, a maestro of the macabre, looks poised for redemption following the previous year's horror flop Renfield. Arcadian strategically positions itself in the horror landscape, emerging amidst the resurgence of major theatrical releases in the genre. As the release date approaches, get ready to delve into the heart-pounding world of Arcadian, a film that promises to be a beacon in the horror landscape, offering an exhilarating escape into the unknown. Love is in the air, even for the most notorious arch-villains. As Todd Phillips, the director of the highly anticipated Joker sequel, Joker Folia 2, spreads some Valentine's Day cheer with tantalizing glimpses into the twisted romance between Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. In a celebration of love, Phillips shared three captivating photos on Valentine's Day, providing a sneak peek into the dark and passionate world of Joker and Harley Quinn. The first image, bathed in shadows, captures the duo enveloped by darkness, illuminated only by a single beam of light forming a heart shape around them, setting the tone for a love story unlike any other. The second photo takes us behind prison bars, where Gaga, using her nose, affectionately nuzzles Phoenix in a unique and memorable moment. The final snapshot transports us to a Gotham City rooftop, where Phoenix and Gaga, embodying their characters, engage in a dance under an artificial-looking sky. The backdrop, with its boxy buildings and an exaggerated moon, adds a surreal touch to their chemistry, creating a visual spectacle that promises to be a feast for the eyes. Phillips, ever the tease, hints at an upcoming treat for fans, with an official trailer expected in mid-April. Responding to eager inquiries about the highly anticipated sequel, he reassured enthusiasts, commenting, Been getting this question a lot. The movie comes out in October, so our first teaser won't be out until mid-April. 
Set for a 4th of October release, the Warner Brothers film is shaping up to be one of the most intriguing surprises of 2024, promising a continuation of the dark and captivating saga that began with the 2019 hit. Hold on to your compasses, Disney is setting sail for a new adventure in the Pirates of the Caribbean universe. And rumor has it that Ayo Adebri, the shining star of the bear, might just be the face of this exciting reboot. According to insider Daniel Rickman, who spilled the treasure chest of details via X, Adebri is Disney's top pick for the lead role of Anne, a fearless young pirate embarking on a quest for hidden treasure in this female-led pirates installment. Adebri celebrated for her Emmy-winning portrayal of Chef Sidney Adamu in the Hulu FX series The Bear brings a unique blend of talent and charisma to the table. Her credits include appearances in the comedy gems, Theater Camp, and Bottoms, as well as lending her voice to characters in animated hits like Big Mouth, Clone High, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. While the details are as elusive as a ghost ship in the night, it's believed that the Pirates project in question aligns with The Last of Us showrunner Craig Mazin's revelation in September 2023. Mazin talked about a quirky pitch that surprisingly got the green light, leading to a fantastic script by Ted Elliott, co-writer of the original Pirates of the Caribbean series, alongside Terry Rossio. As the sea of speculation churns, fans await the tide to turn for a new chapter in this swashbuckling saga, with Pirates of the Caribbean 6 expected to arrive in mid or late 2025. Keep your eyes on the horizon, the Pirates are gearing up for a grand return. We finally have a chance to dive deeper into the breathtaking world of Pandora, as James Cameron, the visionary filmmaker behind the groundbreaking Avatar series, reveals his ambitious plans that extend beyond the already anticipated Avatar 5. In an exclusive chat with People magazine, Cameron broke the massive news, confirming that the gears are already turning for Avatar 6 and Avatar 7. We are fully written through Movie 5, and I've got ideas for 6 and 7, although I'll probably be handing the baton on at that point," Cameron told People Magazine. Mortality catches up. But I mean, we're enjoying what we're doing, we're loving it. We get to work with great people. The franchise's future is securely anchored in Cameron's mind, and the prospect of expanding the narrative beyond Avatar 5 is both exciting and tantalizing. Zoe Saldana, reprising her role as Neytiri through motion capture technology, dropped a few cryptic hints about the upcoming sequels, teasing, it's going to be amazing, Avatar 3 is going to be amazing, and Avatar 4 and 5, it just gets crazy. Despite the visionary director potentially stepping back, the captivating allure of the Avatar universe is set to continue, ensuring a legacy that transcends the director's chair. The release dates for the upcoming films have been shuffled, with Avatar 3 now scheduled for December 19, 2025, followed by Avatar 4 on December 21, 2029, and the grand finale, Avatar 5, arriving on December 19, 2031. Brace yourselves for an unprecedented cinematic journey that spans over two decades from the original 2009 blockbuster, promising a future for Avatar that is nothing short of extraordinary. Hold on to your web, Spider-Man fans! Amy Pascal, the powerhouse behind the Spider-Man franchise and former head of Sony Pictures, has given us a sneak peek into the future of our friendly neighborhood hero. While Miles Morales has swung his way into our hearts in animated form, the prospect of his live-action debut is dangling tantalizingly on the horizon. Marked by Pascal as a matter of someday rather than an immediate reality. Speaking at the 2024 Oscars luncheon, Pascal teased fans by saying, Someday, not until we make two more movies. The emphasis on Someday suggests that Sony is currently steering its focus toward the animated Spider-Verse series, ensuring that the trilogy is complete before delving into the live-action realm. Phil Lord, a key figure in the creative direction of the Spider-Verse trilogy, seconded Pascal's stance, playfully acknowledging her authority with a comment, She's right, she's the boss. The buzz for a live-action Miles Morales movie has been buzzing since the animated triumph of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in 2018. 
This groundbreaking film not only introduced Miles to a broader audience, but also set a new standard for animated superhero movies. However, according to Pascal's recent insights, the live-action debut of Miles Morales is not an immediate priority. As Spider-Man continues to web-sling his way through cinematic adventures, fans will have to exercise a bit of patience before witnessing the live-action debut of the beloved Miles Morales. In the meantime, the animated Spider-Verse series promises to keep audiences captivated, weaving a web of excitement and anticipation for what someday may bring to the live-action realm of Spider-Man. Producer Lorenzo Di Bonaventura has finally spoken out on the much-anticipated DC sequel, Constantine 2. In a recent interview with ComicBook.com, the mastermind behind hit productions like Constantine, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, and Madam Web shared an update on the progress of the long-awaited follow-up to the original Constantine film. Expressing his enthusiasm for the possibility that a follow-up happens, De Bonaventura stated, I hope it does, because it's a great character. Great in comic books, and it was great making that first movie. It's such an alternative kind of character. It's what really attracted me to Madame Web, was the singularity of the character. That idea that she is going to become blind, and that she's going to become this other thing, was really attractive. While acknowledging the challenges faced by the superhero genre, especially given the comparisons with Madame Web, de Bonaventura highlighted the distinctive nature of John Constantine, the supernatural detective portrayed by Keanu Reeves. Despite the changing landscape of superhero films and spin-offs, the team behind the original Constantine movie remains steadfast in their commitment to bringing Keanu Reeves back as the paranormal investigator. As the DC Universe undergoes its own transformations, Constantine 2 remains a beacon of hope for fans eager to see Keanu Reeves back in action as John Constantine, battling demons and unraveling mystical mysteries. The sequel is poised to bring a fresh wave of supernatural thrills, offering a continuation of the captivating narrative that began with the original film. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.